गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी लर्न अबाउट सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फंडामेंटल्स रिलेटेड टू एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग फीचर सो ओवरऑल वट वी डिड वी फर्स्ट इंक्लूडेड दीज थ्री कस्टमाइज एर वेब पेजेस अंडर वेब आइन ऑफ फोल्डर एंड हेयर इन दिस कंट्रोल क्लास वी इंक्लूडेड these three exception handler methods so now after making these changes here when a user requests for this web page and while processing this request if this controller method throws a null point exception spring mvc framework makes equal to this exception handler method and it turns null point exception dot gsp as a response back to the client's browser and for all cases when this method throws an io exception spring mvc framework makes a call to this exception handler method and returns io exception dot gsp and for all cases when this method throws an arithmetic exception for which we do not have any specific exception handler method defined in this controller class spring mvc framework simply makes a call to this generic exception handler method means an exception handler method with exception dot class passed to it as a parameter and returns exception dot gsp as a response so the overall concept which we learned so far is very very simple and clear while processing a user's request if a controller method throws an exception spring mvc framework simply looks for an appropriate exception handler method in the same controller class if it finds such a method it simply makes a call to that otherwise it returns the default error web page back to the client's browser as a response and all this we learned in detail in the previous tutorial now let's proceed further guys the only drawback of the approach we learned so far is an exception handler method is applicable only to the controller class where it is present and cannot be applied or used by framework for exceptions thrown by other controller classes so what it means let's say in your application you have 10 controller classes and for each controller class you want to handle a null pointer exception so with this approach you will need to include an exception handler method for null point exception in each of 10 controller classes separately so with the kind of approach we have learned so far we might end up adding a lot of redundant exception handler methods in our controller classes so is there any way that we could write an exception handler method for null point exception only at one place which applies to all controller classes which are present in the application Yes, there is a way. Spring MVC framework says, "Hey developers, you include a class in your application with controller advice annotation on its top. Then, whatever exception handler methods you put in such a class, all those would be applied to all controller classes which stays in the application." Let me show you this concept working. So here, I have added this new class with the name Global Exception Handler Methods. which has controller advice annotation on its top so now according to the concept which i just uh, told you whatever exception handler methods i would place in this class all those are applicable to all controller classes which stays in this application so what i'll do i'll take off all these exception handler methods from this controller class and put all of them here at one place means in this controller advice class so now when this controller method throws any exception while processing a user's request spring mvc framework is going to look for an appropriate exception handler method in this class if it finds an appropriate method for that exception it will simply execute that otherwise it's going to return the default error web page back to the client's browser as a response so with this new approach you really don't need to include exception handler methods in each controller class separately you can define all of them globally at one place with the help of this concept 
All right. Now, one last concept before I wind up this tutorial. If you observe each method here in this class, what we are doing, we are first locking information of thrown exception and then returning view name. And this is what we are doing in this exception handle method too, and in this method also. Now, Spring MVC framework says, hey developers, if you have to perform just these two tasks in each exception handler method then you really don't need to write such a big java class in your application and you can perform all such handling tasks by writing a very simple bean definition in your springs configuration file like this so this bean definition what i have placed over here is exactly doing the same thing as what this class is performing let me explain it so here, with this bean definition, we are instructing Spring MVC, hey Spring MVC finger, when any of the controller class is through, a null pointer exception, just return this view name, exactly like this exception handler method here. And here, when IO exception is thrown by any of the control classes, just return IO exception view name, exactly like this exception handler method. And for all, cases when any of the control classes throw some exception which is not present in this list just return this default error view exception view name exactly like this third exception handler method which we have placed over here now if you observe we are logging information of thrown exception before returning view name and that's something we are doing with the help of this property in this bean definition with this, we are instructing Spring MVC, hey Spring MVC framework, before returning the customized view page back to the client's browser, just log information of the thrown exception. Exactly what we are doing here in each exception handler method in this class. So this bean definition is just another way of doing the same thing, you know. So if you like uh, simplicity without writing much Java code, just go ahead with this bean definition otherwise go ahead with such a class i would go ahead with this class going forward in this demo application so i would delete off this definition this bean definition from here all right guys a big thank you for learning spring mvc with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel con2series and i'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial